Hey everybody, Hobby Farm Guy Brian here, along with my partners in crime, Steve. Hi. And behind the scenes, Eric. Hey, hey. Today, we tackle the topic of supplemental lighting for chickens. The pros, the cons, and the whys, whens, and wheres. Everything you need to know about providing a little extra light to your flock during the wintertime. And we'll get started right after this. Here in our corner of Southeast Idaho, the seasons are changing. The brutal heat of summer is fading as freezing nighttime temperatures signal the end for our vegetable gardens. But it's not only temperatures that are recognizably different than just a few weeks ago. The amount of daylight we're getting continues to drop just a little each day. And this seasonal drop in daylight hours affects not only us, but our chickens as well. Many new chicken keepers are surprised when they see egg output begin to fall as the long warm days of summer fade into fall and then winter. While a number of factors can contribute to the drop in egg production, the leading culprit is the increase in darkness and the associated drop in daylight. Egg laying is, in essence, chicken reproduction, and eggs are more difficult to incubate and hatch when it's cold out. Baby chicks also face greater challenges to survival if hatched out in the dead of winter rather than spring or summer when temperatures and food options are much more conducive to raising chicks. As a result, chickens have adapted to produce the majority of their eggs during those times when successful hatching and survival of the chicks is more likely. This is accomplished by responding to seasonal changes in daylight. Daylight is detected by the pineal gland located in the brain area behind the chicken's eyes which in turn stimulates the pituitary gland to produce hormones, which then stimulate the hen's ovary to produce eggs. As daylight decreases, so do the chicken's hormones that influence egg laying, resulting in a drop or even a break in egg production. Now, we'll note quickly that chickens in their first year experience much less of a drop, and that modern hybrid commercial type breeds generally produce better through the winter than many older heritage breeds. But as a general rule, Lower light levels in winter will result in lower egg output in your flock. As a result, commercial egg producers and some backyard chicken keepers add light to their coops in dark winter months to keep their hens laying longer. There are arguments on both sides when it comes to adding extra light to your coop. We'll go over some pros and cons and then give you some do's and don'ts if you decide to add light. And we'll start with the positives. The big one being eggs. Right? Many chicken keepers, well, they're reluctant to put the time and money into feeding and caring for their flock for weeks or months with few to no eggs in return. Additional benefits include making your life easier. If, like us, you have to do your chicken chores early in the morning or later in the evening, this can often mean those chores are done in relative darkness. But with a light in the coop, you get the added benefit of being able to see, being able to inspect your birds, collect eggs, and ensure the coop and bedding are in good shape. A few extra hours of light can also be a deterrent for nighttime predators. Studies have also found that increasing daylight hours to about 16 hours increased socialness in chickens and reduced aggressive and self-destructive behavior like fighting and feather pecking. But don't overdo it. Too much light is just as bad as not enough when it comes to bad behaviors and egg laying. But there are also some potential negatives to lighting up the chickens to keep them laying. Well, chickens won't run out of eggs, right, because they continue to lay through the winter. Keeping a hen laying does mean she doesn't get a break. Is that a bad thing? Well, it comes down to how you view your chickens. If they're livestock raised for a purpose with expected levels of production, then keeping them laying makes sense. If your chickens are beloved pets, my family members, then production probably takes a backseat to what feels right. Scientifically, chickens aren't harmed by laying through the winter, so they won't run out of eggs. They, despite everything you read on the internet, there really isn't a lot of unbiased scientific proof that keeping birds laying results in extra health problems and ailments for the birds. There are, however, a couple of specific negatives with providing light to chickens that are well documented. And the first deals with young birds. Too much light too soon can cause a young chicken to develop before her body's ready to support egg laying. For that reason, it's recommended not to provide artificial light for hens under the age of 16 weeks. Waiting for 20 weeks is safer still. 
Another real issue with keeping daylight hours constant is that it may cause your birds to molt late in the dead of winter when it's cold and they need their feathers the most. Some people will hold off on adding supplemental light in the fall and allow the chickens to slow egg laying and molt, then add extra light later in the winter, bringing the chickens back to lay earlier in the late winter, early spring as a compromise. Many chicken keepers like to simply give the hens a break. Eggs are used as seasonal, just like I can enjoy fresh tomatoes out of the garden during the summer, but not so much in the winter, maybe eggs are the same way, a seasonal crop. For me, it's often as much about a break for me as it is for the hens. Right? I get a break from collecting and taking care of all those eggs. In my case, eggs are often frozen solid before I get to them anyway due to the cold, cold temperatures we get here in Idaho during the winter and my work schedule. Yeah, I like to keep things simple in the winter as well, and the less time I have to spend out in the cold caring for animals, the better. If you do opt for adding light to the coop, there are some definite do's and don'ts. Let's cover those next. Do be consistent. If you're going to use a light, use a timer to control that light. Don't rely on remembering to go out and turn that light on and off. Widely fluctuating day lengths as a result of getting out to the coop late or not at all are stressful on the birds and won't bring you the results you want. If you add light, you'll want to aim for 15 hours a day. Use a timer to ensure that you get that. And on that note, that means you'll periodically be changing that timer as day length naturally decreases and increases over the winter. Make changes gradually and don't overdo it. Too much light is as bad as too little. Don't leave a light on 24-7. Chickens need dark as well. The range you're looking for is that 14 to 16 hours a day. 15 hours a day is what you're shooting for, adjusting by about 45 minutes a week until you reach that target. Also, do add those extra hours of light to the start of the day rather than the end of the day. Determine how many hours of natural daylight you have, when dawn is, and then work backwards figuring how much time you need to add before sunrise to get to that 15 hours. This allows your birds to settle in with a normal routine in the evening. Natural light fades gradually as the sun sets, and that gives your flock time to find their places on the roost and prepare for a good night's sleep. If you extend the day by adding light in the evening, when the artificial light turns off, the chickens are suddenly plunged into darkness, creating an anxiety and potentially resulting in injury as chickens try to find their roost in the dark. And can I say this here again? Don't use a heat lamp as your light source. Incandescent bulbs, fluorescents, and LEDs are all options, but in our opinion, LEDs are the clear winner here. Incandescents still generate heat and can cause fires. They also produce glass shards when broken. Fluorescent bulbs often don't work well in the cold and put off almost too much light. Good point, Brian. You don't need to light up your coop like the Vegas Strip to keep up egg production. About 50 lumens is plenty. What does that look like? Well, you should be able to read a newspaper from about a foot away. So place your lamp so that maximum illumination is spread over the largest area, avoiding shadows as much as possible. You don't want to light the nest boxes, but the coop instead. Many people offer a string of Christmas lights or some rope lights to accomplish this. Depending upon the size of your coop, a simple 25 to 40 watt bulb is usually sufficient. Many of those options are available as LEDs, using almost no energy. They also produce virtually no heat, lowering both your electric bill and the danger of fire. Some even run on batteries, so if you don't have power in your coop, you can still have an option to add extra light. Once harder to source or significantly more expensive, LEDs are reasonably priced and widely available throughout much of the world now. So that's our take on providing light to your chickens to keep them laying through the winter. Aim for 15 hours a day, adding light in the morning rather than the evening. Use a soft, diffused light that is bright enough to read with, but not overpowering. And opt for efficient LED lights and avoid heat lamps at all costs. Do you provide extra light for your chickens in the winter? What are your tips and tricks? Leave them in the comments below and we'll all get smarter. Thanks for watching. And remember to like the video and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. And of course, keep on hobby farming. Bye everybody.